Hey y'all, it's Amanda with the Pretty House team in Palm Harbor, Florida. I'm making a short video today because I had a couple of questions yesterday about this whole Equifax fiasco. Um, a couple of buyers were wondering if they should freeze their credit. So I wanted to share with you a little bit about what I know about it. Not too much because I think as we all know, I hate math. It confuses me. It's not my favorite subject, but we all do need to keep our credit secure and tight. So. The first thing you need to do if you've been breached is make sure you've been breached. So you go to this website, EquifaxSecurity2017.com. It's also going to be in the link below in case I said that too quickly. You click on it and then there's a tab there that says potential impact. You have to go in and you have to enter the last six digits of your social security number, which is already terrifying because we're trying to say we've been breached. So why do you want to give people more information? But apparently it's the only way to do it. So you enter this and then you're either going to get a message that says, we believe that your personal information was not impacted or we believe that you may have been impacted. I don't know a single person who got the first message that says, ha ha, you didn't get impacted. Everybody I know has gotten the, you may have been impacted message. So if that happens to you, there's no need to panic. One side note though, it does say at the end of that, after you hit the submit button, that you'll get an email letting you know that they've enrolled you in their program to watch over your credit. That email doesn't come, which then sends you into even more panic because you're like, wait a minute, I just gave you most of my social security number and I didn't, never got an email. I called Equifax and they basically said it's going to take five to seven days. Don't even get me started on that. It just is what it is. They're really behind, whatever, whatever. So anywho, if we want to move on to how to freeze your credit. You can do it online, but nobody that I talk to recommends you do that because it's just not as private and as secure as picking up the phone and calling. Also in the link that I've provided for you, you're going to have every phone number you need to call and freeze your credit. But what does it mean? Basically, the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, says that if you freeze your credit, it prevents credit, loans, and any services from being approved in your name without your consent. But what does that mean for you? Like if you're a tenant or if you're trying to buy a car, it takes up to three days to unfreeze your credit. So if you freeze it, it, it's locked tight, supposedly, but it will take you free three days. So if you're at the Gap and they're throwing in a free pair of boxers with a t-shirt purchase, just if you sign up for their credit card, you won't be able to do it because your credit's frozen. But how important is that pair of socks, really? It's not. Okay, so next up is it's not free. In order to freeze your credit in Florida, it's going to cost you $10. In order to unfreeze your credit, it's going to cost you $10. If you're over 65, it's free for you to freeze and it's 10 for you to unfreeze. And if you're under 16, it's free. But if you're under 16 and you have credit, wow, I don't even know what to say about that. Like, I don't even know how you have credit under 16. Okay, so again, if you wanna know where to begin, just click on the link below. All the numbers will be listed and also the details of what I just went over because again, I know I talk fast, but I think it's important that we get ahead of this before the bad guys, don't know who the bad guys are, but before the bad guys get a hold of our credit and they've all like, gone out and bought cars and fancy rings and jewelry and perfume and whatever bad guys buy. So anyway, freeze your credit. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for listening. This is Amanda with the Pretty House team of Palm Harbor.